Tumblr launches hashtags and Facebook integration. iPhone, number one camera on Flickr. Ride with Lance Armstrong. And can't tweet, try daily. It's August 19th, 2009. I'm Adam Lidecker. And I'm Wendy Lidecker. Thanks for tuning in to Socially Fresh, daily social media news with a twist of tech. Now for the top news heard around the web. Tumblr launches hashtags and Facebook integration. Tumblr, the super simple blogging site, recently launched two new features, tag channels and Facebook integration. Similar to hashtags on Twitter, Tag channels will allow users to tag their content in order to show up in real-time search, which is so popular these days. No need to worry about tag spamming. Tumblr has built-in safeguards to prevent this. The other feature Tumblr is releasing is Facebook integration. This will allow Tumblr users to post video, audio, links, and quotes from their Tumblr blog seamlessly to their Facebook account to share with their friends. So, do you use Tumblr? If so, post your link below to your Tumble blog and let us know. iPhone is the number one camera on Flickr. The iPhone has dethroned high resolution Canon and Nikon cameras to take the top spot as the most popular camera on Flickr. For the longest time, the top spot went to the Canon Digital Rebel. So does this mean people don't like high resolution photos? I don't think so. I think it just means that we're in an ever increasing mobile world. And with the iPhone in your pocket, you always have a camera at hand to take those split-second shots. And also, it's super easy to upload from your iPhone to Flickr. iPhones are an easy snapshot, but I do have a soft spot in my heart for a very well-composed, high-resolution photo. So, what do you think? Comment below and let us know what camera you take most of your shots with. Right with Lance Armstrong. Want to take a bike ride with Lance Armstrong? Well, follow him on Twitter. Lance Armstrong recently tweeted that he was in Glasgow, Scotland, inviting anyone to join him for a bike ride. 200 tweeters joined him for a rainy but fun ride. So I guess following interesting people on Twitter does have its perks. I know we're not in Glasgow, but perhaps Lance will be biking near a location near you soon. So follow those tweets. I think this is a fun story, especially for those 200 people that got to take a ride with him. If I were there, I would probably be that guy all the way in the end. I'd be in the front. You probably would be in the front. <laughs> so if Lance were biking in a town near you, would you join him? And what one question would you ask him? Comment below and let us know. Can't tweet? Try Daily Booth. Is 140 characters just too much for you? Is tweeting just too cumbersome? Well, we have a website for you. Say hello to Daily Booth. Hello. Daily Booth is a Twitter-like messaging service, but the main difference is the main form of communication is photos. You can post a picture of anything, but mostly it looks like users are posting pictures of themselves. Photo booth style. Unlike Twitter, Daily Booth's demographic seems to be mostly teens. Its growth has been amazing with 3 million unique visitors per month, growing at a rate of 35%. Would you use a service like Daily Booth? I probably would, but not just to post photos of myself. I post photos of my dog. That's a good one. What do you think? What would you post photos of? Leave a comment below and let us know. Thanks for watching Socially Fresh. Tune in daily to quench your social media and tech thirst. Thirsty for more? Don't forget to subscribe to our blog and follow us on Twitter. I'm Adam Lidecker. And I'm Wendy Lidecker. And you've just been Refreshed.